Hello and welcome to the news in Bahrain International with me, Keith Johnston. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nas bin Hamad Al Khalifa, witnessed the final rounds of the Saudi Cup 2021 in the presence of the first Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sport and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the Chairman of the High Committee of Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The race was organised by the Jockey Club of Saudi Arabia and held at the King Abdulaziz Racecourse in Riyadh. Bahraini horses, in addition to high calibre race horses from all over the world, participated in the race. His Highness Sheikh Khalid commended the participation of Bahraini stables, which underscores the Kingdom's presence in international championships. He highlighted the support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to horse racing, which has contributed to the development of this sport. He stated that the participation of the Kingdom in Saudi Cup comes in line with the regional and international efforts to promote horse racing. His Highness lauded the outstanding level of the horse races organised by Saudi Arabia at all levels, noting that the Saudi Cup is an international sporting gathering in which everyone is keen to participate given the major role it plays in developing horse races across the region. For his part, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman pointed out that the support of the horse racing receives from the Kingdom has contributed to promoting the name of Bahrain, both regionally and internationally. He praised the efforts of Bahraini jockeys and stables, noting the support of His Majesty the King and the follow-up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. He congratulated the winners of the Cup, wishing them success in future championships. He also commended the efforts of Saudi Arabia in organising the Cup and wished the Brotherly Kingdom further success.
In an interview with Al Akbariya, His Highness Sheikh Naz bin Hamad Al Khalifa affirmed that the Saudi Cup races receives the support of the Saudi Crown Prince, Deputy Prime Minister, and Minister of Defence of Saudi Arabia, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, which is reflected in the success of the race. حدث رياضي كبير تشهده المملكة النسخة الثانية لكأس الأبطال السعودية البحرين الشقيقة مشاركة للسنة الثانية على التوالي ما هي مشاعركم سبحان الشيخ والله طبعا أولا أهنيكم على هذه السمعة اللي كسبتوها الحقيقة يعني دوليا أصبحوا الناس يطمحون للمشاركة في المملكة العربية السعودية والتي حقيقة تحظى اهتمام ورعاية سمو ولي العهد الأمير محمد بن سلمان الله طول عمره يعني يشرفنا اليوم نكون موجودين معاكم في النسخة الثانية والمشاركة معاكم بحد ذاتها هذه تكفي الحقيقة وهو بلدكم كما هو الحال ما في شك الله طول عمره سمو الشيخ شاركتم في الشوط الثاني والان في الشوط الاهم الشوط الثامن آه كيف آه هو الانطباع حتى الان؟ والله الحقيقه يعني الانطباع في المشاركه الاولى ما جات حسب ما بغينا السباق ما خدم الحصان، الحصان يريد السباق الاسرع آه السباق كان ابطا شوي فما خدم الحصان انه هو في النهايه يعني يستمر بالسرعه آه ولكن يعني حظوظ السباقات هذه دائما غالب ومغلوب ولكن حقيقة أتكلم بكل صراحة وأمانة أنا مشاركتي اليوم معاكم هي بحد ذاتها شرف كبير وخاصة أن هذه السنة عندي حصان في الشوط الرئيسي اللي هو الشوط الأكبر والأهم أشوف السباق وأشوف الخيل والحجم المشارك وحجم السباق والسمعة اللي كسبها كنت أحلم أن يكون عندي حصان فقط يكون موجود فخلنا ناخذ خطوة خطوة عندي حصان هالسنة موجود في السباق إن فاز الحمد لله وإن ما فاز الحمد لله على الوصول ولكن أكيد طموحي الأكبر أن يوم الأيام أرفع الكاس في هذا الشوط his Majesty the King's representative for humanitarian work and youth affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, healed the latest win by Paris FC, sporting the victorious Bahrain jersey. His Highness said seeing victorious Bahrain on the jersey of the French team is a source of pride and that it means aspirations to continue supporting Paris FC as it moves forward. He added that the team is well capable of scoring many more wins in the next matches and fulfill the vision of the board members who are keen on providing all forms of support. Paris FC won 1-0 at Chateauroux in France's League 2 thanks to a goal scored by Ali Abdi, raising the total points of the team to 41. His Highness wished the team success in its upcoming matches. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa yesterday attended the closing of the fourth annual edition of the Al Bashir Arabian Camel Racing Festival held in Oman. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed was accompanied by the Deputy Prime Minister for International Relations and Cooperation Affairs and personal representative of His Majesty the Sultan, His Highness Sayyid Assad bin Tariq Al Said. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed highlighted the importance of preserving traditional sports that reflect cultural heritage. In this regard, His Highness further highlighted His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister's commitment to promoting the Kingdom's traditions, including a recreational sporting heritage. He noted that participating in regional cultural sports events helped preserve this sporting heritage for future generations. He also extended his gratitude to the event organisers of the fourth edition of the race and the warm hospitality received during His Highness's visit. The camels owned by His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman won first and second places in the main round of Al Ghadan. A lunch banquet was held by His Highness Sayyid Assad bin Tariq Al Said in honour of His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman's visit to the Sultanate and attendance of the festival. The Shura Council held its weekly meeting remotely, presided over by its chairman, Ali bin Saleh Asale. The council discussed and approved the report of the Services Committee regarding Decree Law 78 of 2006 on insurance against unemployment. It also discussed and approved a draft law on issuing the Maritime Law, which aims to issue an integrated law that guarantees Bahrain to benefit from its distinguished geographical location and its potentials and achieve growth and prosperity in the maritime field. 
The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr Abdul Latif bin Rashid Al Ziani, received today the Secretary General of the Gulf Cooperation Council, Dr Nayef bin Fala Mubarak Al Hajraf, and his accompanying delegation. Dr Al Ziani valued the efforts of the GCC Secretary General in following up the implementation of the decisions issued following the Aula summit held last month in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. He also affirmed the keenness of Bahrain led by His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa with the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa to further develop joint GCC action for the greater benefit of all Gulf countries. The Foreign Affairs Minister commended the efforts of the General Secretariat to enhance the GCC march and strengthen its role at the regional and international levels. For his part, Dr Al Hajraf briefed the Minister on the results of his recent tour to a number of brotherly other countries where he held talks with a number of leaders and senior officials regarding the development of joint cooperation between the GCC and other brotherly countries. He also wished the Kingdom further progress and prosperity. The meeting was attended by senior officials of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and the General Secretariat of the GCC. It discussed a number of topics of mutual interest. The Minister of Transportation and Telecommunications, Engineer Kamal bin Ahmed Mohammed, visited BNET headquarters. During the visit, the Minister toured the company's new facilities, recently equipped with the latest technologies, as well as the recently announced centres, including the Service Management Centre, which provides round-the-clock support to BNET customers and licensed service providers in the Kingdom, the Network's Intelligence Centre of Excellence, which ensures the delivery of secure, reliable and stable network services, as well as the Cyber Security Operations Centre, launched to secure digital infrastructure and ensure the provision of safe and reliable services. For his part, at BNET Chairman Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa thanked the Minister for his continuous support to the telecommunications sector in the Kingdom, which contributed to enhancing the Kingdom's position as a strategic investment destination and a regional hub for information technology. During the visit, a presentation was given on the company's achievement since its establishment, which focuses on its progress and plans in implementing its key role in deploying fibre infrastructure. The Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs, Ayman bin Tafik al Mayayad, received the Iraqi Minister of Youth and Sports, Adnan Jajal. At the beginning of the meeting, the Youth and Sports Minister welcomed his Iraqi counterpart, healing relations between Bahrain and Iraq in various fields, including youth and sports. Al Mayayad affirmed the importance of the Iraqi Minister's meeting and visit, which embodies bilateral ties noting that Bahrain is always keen on developing solid youth and sports ties with various Arab countries, including Iraq, and on bolstering cooperation to boost the youth and sports sectors in Bahrain and Arab countries. For his part, the Iraqi minister hailed Bahrain's efforts in supporting youth and sports movement and the achievements it made in this field. He expressed confidence in the meeting's contribution to achieving further understanding to promote cooperation between Bahrain and Iraq in the youth and sports sector. The Bahraini American Friendship Society held its periodic meeting yesterday in the presence of the Ambassador of Bahrain to the US, Sheikh Abdullah bin Rashid Al Khalifa. During the meeting, the President of the Friendship Society, retired Admiral John Miller, praised in his speech the Kingdom's remarkable and tangible achievements to establish democratic principles and values, in addition to women empowerment, freedom of religions, respect, setting Bahrain as a model of peaceful coexistence. The President and members of the Bahrain American Friendship Society congratulated His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa on the 20th anniversary of the endorsement of the National Action Charter, which is considered a milestone in modern history of the Kingdom with the launch of the reform project of His Majesty, which established a comprehensive development process in various fields and at all levels. Retired Admiral John Miller affirmed the Society's great role in strengthening friendship and cooperation ties between Bahrain and the US and praised the great support of the Ambassador. He added that this year the Society celebrates the 30th anniversary of its founding and on this occasion events will be held throughout the year to shed light on the depth of the historical relations between Bahrain and the US, including various areas of health, educational, defence, security, political cultural and social cooperation. 
the Supreme Judicial Council announced opening the applications process for the new edition of the Future Judges Project 2021 for the Sharia judiciary from the 21st to the 25th of February in order to run for appointments in the Judicial Authority. The Future Judges Project is considered one of those projects that are compatible with the national plan to upgrade the judicial system under the Reform Project of His Majesty the King to safeguard and establish public and private rights. It also comes as part of the efforts to develop a judicial system that has kept pace with the latest developments to maintain outstanding judiciary performance and the ability to adjudicate cases quickly and efficiently. This project for the legal judiciary comes after the success of the Future Judges Project in the past two editions and to continue the process of justice in a way that enhances the efforts made to implement the strategy of the judiciary by attracting those with legal competencies and preparing them through intensive programmes in order to qualify for judicial positions. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 3,476 had taken the vaccine yesterday, bringing the total number of vaccinated individuals to 271,749. The Ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccination. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of coronavirus cases reached 7,728 with 732 recoveries, 752 registered new cases and one death. 255 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 485 are contacts of active cases and 12 are travel related. The deceased was a 59-year-old male citizen. The Ministry expresses its heartfelt condolences to the family of the deceased and urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus.